are so dusty. Jesus. Guys, look. These are my plants. Okay. These are my bamboos. They're really long. Ugh. I can't even show the top. <laughs> my prized possession plants that I own, right? I own many plants, but these babies right here, they're my favorite. Okay. So, you know, they're real tall. They're real tall. And, um,. I need to put them into a bigger vase because this one's not cutting anymore and it's just full of just full of nastiness. I don't know if this is normal or not, to be honest. I love my bamboo, but I don't know a hundred percent everything there is about bamboo. But <laughs> it's like very mossy or algae algae-ish in here. <laughs> and it, it just needs to be repotted anyway because the plant's really tall and it's gonna need a taller base to hold all the stuff in it. Today we're gonna transplant these babies. Uh, so with both my bamboos, both their names are Jerry. Okay, you know, I love I love Jerry from Rick and Morty, but the first one, this one right here, Jerry number one. He was named Jerry before Rick and Morty. I before I knew Rick and Morty existed. I think before Rick and Morty even came out. I love I love you, Jerry. You're the OG bamboo and I love you so much. I remember when you was just a tiny little coily little thing. Maybe as tall as this glass, maybe not. I got you at IKEA, I picked you out and I was like you are perfect. And now look at you. Tall. You got another stock coming out. Beautiful. Immaculate. <laughs> Can you tell that I really like my bamboo plants? <laughs> so this is OG. I believe Jerry is five years old now um yeah pretty much he's going on he's about to be five years old so i love you jerry i love you so much got him at ikea then we got this one right here this is jerry number two now jerry number two he's like three years old um can i back up and show you how tall this is this is how tall Jerry 2 is. He's little, he's taller than Jerry number 1. We need to do a full side-by-side -side size comparison to the both of them. This is Jerry number 1 and Jerry number 2. I find that blasphemous, okay? I don't know why Jerry number 2 is growing so much better than Jerry number 1. Which I could have sworn I got Jerry number 2 at Ikea as well. But I could be wrong. I don't know. But the Jerry number 2 is also a spiral. Uh, bamboo plant. I don't know why they spiral them. I, it's just supposed to be fancy, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, he's grown a lot taller than Jerry number one. Uh, he got two stocks on him. But that, it was very interesting that they didn't start down here. They started up here. Okay. Okay, Jerry. I love you. Not only that, but the tips, the tops of them are, are, both of them are getting quite yellow compared to the bottom part. Which is a big part of the reason is because there's a lot going on in in the vase area. Now, if anyone's an expert plant grower, know a lot about bamboo, is this normal? I'm not sure. You know what? I just need to Google it. But yeah, I just placed them in a vase with uh, rocks and marbles and like things, like those kind of things. And uh, yeah, and I kept it glass so I can obviously see where the water level is. Water level is about right here. But I just, I don't know if that's, I don't think they're getting enough water. You know what I mean? And like since this thing is so jam packed full of rocks, you can, it can only hold but so much water. Like you think you fill the whole thing up, your mind thinks, oh wow, the whole thing is filled up with water. No, it's not. There's a very small amount of water in there because most of the space is being taken up by rocks. We're going to transplant my Jerry's into new vases. And um, yeah, but I thought, I thought it would be fancy if I took my Jerry's, the new, the new vases, vases, whatever you call them, and actually paint the vases to look like Jerry from Rick and Morty. That's a big brain. That is a big brain idea. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. And I'm low-key kind of excited. I've been dying to transplant them for a really long time, but then I waited because, you know, winter time, and, you know, I just, like, I just, you know, I, I just held off. But then I finally got some more rocks, some more marbles, and then I was like, you know what, we're going to paint these marbles, so we're going to paint them today, okay? <laughs> no way. <gasps> you guys! You guys, I just realized, Jerry number one, I think he's about, he, I, oh, I think he's gonna sprout another stalk, I'm trying to show you, but you probably can't see. <laughs> look, he's, he's, he, look, look, you see that in there? Look, he's about to sprout another freaking stalk, or whatever it's called, I don't know, I just uh, called it a stalk, I just assumed it's called a stalk, look. Oh my gosh, I 
need to take so much better care of you. I thought I really thought that Jerry number one was done growing. I'm shook. That just made me really happy. Uh, oh my gosh, are you gonna grow another stuff? The inside of both my plants pretty much look like this now, and I don't know if that's healthy for them. I'm assuming it's not, but I truly, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know if there's a bunch of microorganisms living in there, like, I, I truly don't know. You know, they don't live outside, they sit in my room. So, the fact that it looks like that in there is kind of alarming. And also, being that there's so much in both of them, like there's so much of that plant life, algae life, moss life, I don't know what it is, mold? Is it mold? <laughs> it's mold? Oh my god. Um, like there's so much of it in there that I'm not even sure how I'm gonna get the bamboo out to transplant them, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know if they're caked in there real good. <laughs> Trying to get the rocks out from in between the vines is gonna be even harder, so. I need to do some research about transplanting them before I actually take them out the vase and move them into another vase, so. We got some work ahead, but that doesn't matter right now. Right now, we're moving on to painting the other vases, so let's go. Part of the reason why I wanted to do this project like this is because I had got this warty planter a while ago, and yeah, I mean, it's kind of cute. <laughs> His face is a little weird, but I got this planter. I had planted it before, but then the plant died. So now he's back in his box until I find a new plant for it. But I like the idea of this planter and a plant growing out of his head. And then, yeah, and of course, my bamboo plants are named Jerry. So it only seems fitting to make it resemble Jerry. <laughs> so being that these are glass, I'm gonna put a cloth down to help a little bit <laughs> so they don't shatter when they hit the desk. I think I got these at Target, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. Look how big <laughs> these are. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, these are definitely more, a little bit more narrow, but you know, my bamboo is getting big, so I needed taller things to put them in. So I feel like these should be perfect. So yeah, so let's move this to the side and pick out the paints that we want. Now I'm trying to decide, do I want like it to look like, do I want both of them to look like regular Jerry? Do I want different Jerry's on each one? Like what kind of Jerry do I want? I really want to play on the color scheme of a shirt, I think is what I really want the most. I just don't know. I think it's funny because his shirt is green, but then it has the brown and like, beige stripe but it's pretty much his skin tone in his hair like he has, he does not have much like adapted color scheme like everybody else but compared to everyone else he's the only one who has a pattern on his shirt which is kind of interesting to think about <laughs> and I feel like also Jerry he goes through a lot more like costume changes compared to like everyone else in the show like he has like you see him wearing the most diverse outfits compared to like the main cast of like Beth, Summer, Morty, and Rick. You know what I mean? Ooh, that's the rare variety we're at right now. <laughs> if anyone cares. Palette. Yes, I know, I never clean my palettes. I don't want to hear anything about it. Okay. Move these out the way. Actually, I want to get. I want to bring my sketchbook out because I have a vague idea of what it is that I'm thinking of. But I just need to draw this out. I'm not gonna cover the whole entire thing, so not even exactly half of it. We'll have a design. So. Will be the green. We have green, brown, beige, and then what I'm assuming his head would be somewhere in here. You know, making whatever face. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure I just want his head. I don't want his body involved into it. I just think it's something like this. 
Now this would have been fine had there only been one plant, but since I got two Jerry's, I just don't know. Hmm. If I don't like this idea, I really might just keep the head idea, but then have a bamboo coming out from the top of his head. You know what I mean? Just a very simple bamboo shape coming out from the top of his head. And then bada bing, bada boom, we got a plant cherry. <laughs> yep. So let's just start slopping paint down and see where this goes.
bada boom. Um, I'm not mad about the way they came out. I said that I wanted his head to be small, and that's exactly what I did not do. So, um, yeah. But I'm not mad at the size. It gets the point across. You know, at the end of the day, this is it's supposed to hold the plant. Like, <laughs> I'm kind of torn of doing the plant on his head. I mean, there's really not that much room on the top of his head anymore to really do something like that. But I like the idea of having the plant on top of his head, though. But, like, is it really necessary? I don't think so. I think we'll be fine. I think it will be okay. And then, like, I realized that both of their faces are facing the same direction. And I don't really want that, so at least I changed where their his pupils went. So at least my plants will be looking at each other. Because my bamboo usually sit side by side, in a way, next to each other. So I'm thinking with this face, this will hold the younger one. And this one will hold the older one. I never painted on glass before, so I don't know if I really did this right. Probably didn't. Really didn't prep the glass at all. Didn't even, like, clean it. Like... <laughs> I literally just started painting on it and that was it but yeah so we're losing daylight so I need to go outside now and get all my rocks and all my marbles and all my stuff and my plants so we can transplant these plants into their new jerry pots okay so this is so random but I got a Rick and Morty 12 days of sock little advent calendar thing for my like Christmas and I forgot about it and I just remembered that I had it so like I want to open it and see what I get pretty cool actually <laughs> okay so what is that number one let's see if I can open it Oop. I think I just did it okay let's just turn it over like that <laughs> wow Pickle Rick socks amazing Just look at that look performing socks for you guess this is like gonna be an ongoing thing now where each video I open up a new door to see what new pair of Rick and Morty socks I get that's kind of funny real quick since I'm showing off my bamboo can I just please show off my other plants because like how can I not boom this right here is my bonsai my little bonsai tree its name is bonsai but here we got my tray of little assorted succulents over here She's so beautiful. I have no idea what kind of plant this is. I've never seen it before in my life, but it was like like a dollar or something. It was very cheap. And I brought it and now like it's like growing like crazy. I like to keep all my plants in like a glass container so I can see just how dry the soil is. But another succulent right here also does not have a name. This sad plant is my aloe vera. It's um it's not doing too well. Last but not least, this right here is my cactus. His name is Jeffrey. <laughs> and this also has a really tiny flower in there. I don't, the flower is quite literally hidden. <laughs> I cannot see it. I like plants. I feel like I've reached my cap on the amount of plants I could have because I've tried getting one more succulent and it just did not survive. And I finally did it. Look at them. <laughs> Taking them out of the previous vase was actually a lot easier than I thought. Um, the water that was already in there kind of helped it slide out. And then I kind of had to shake it a little bit to get the rocks that were stuck in between the roots out. And then after that, it went pretty smooth. Um, I did rinse off the roots to get all the rest of the algae off of it. So it's like fresh, new, clean roots. <laughs> so this is what the inside is looking like. Kind of hard to tell. Water line is right there. So I have... The bottom part is filled with pond rocks, as you can see right here. Then we have some sea glass, and then the top is marbles from that was in the previous vase. I cleaned the marbles off, and then yeah. And then we got a little Jerry face. <laughs> the younger one. Love it. Love how this turns out. Same thing here. We got pond rocks, sea glass, and then marbles at the top. And filled with just enough water to cover the roots, like it said. Now, from what I read, it says that if you're growing your bamboo pretty large, it's better to put them in soil than rather just uh, rocks. But I don't have any good soil at the moment, so I'm going to wait. I mean, it should be, you know, 
it's gonna be relatively easy to take them back out so I'm not stressing about it but I'm definitely gonna get soil as soon as possible so I can plant them in soil um, the thing is I don't know if I'm gonna need to get a bigger vase in order to plant them in soil successfully but uh, yeah I know I said to put them in soil so they're not gonna stay in their vase with rocks for much longer but for right now it's like a project that I really wanted to get done and I'm not and I'm not disappointed at all <laughs> Alright, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun, like, doing this. <laughs> I just like to paint, like, on things, and I really thought that this was, like, this was a project that I really wanted to do for a while, so I'm just glad I got it done. And, um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel, because we got more videos coming, and I now upload every Saturday. No Friday or Saturday, it's just Saturday now. So, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.